are less than one month away from the Great American Eclipse. It's going to be taking place on April 8th, uh, coming up in less than a month here. But even though we are just going to have a partial eclipse here, it is still going to be something worth seeing, and you still have some time to prepare for safe viewing. Seeing a solar eclipse in the path of totality doesn't happen that often. Far northeast Georgia was in that path of a total eclipse in 2017. We'll be just outside the path of totality for this year's great American eclipse, but that doesn't mean you have to miss out. If you didn't know the eclipse is even happening on April 8th, you might go through the day not even noticing. We will experience an eclipse that will cover about 80 to 85 percent of the sun. Um, sounds like a lot. But again, if you're not looking at it with, with safe, protective equipment, you'll probably never know. The lighting will change a little bit, but that's about it. It is worth watching, though, but you have to be careful. There are three ways to safely view the partial eclipse here. If you want to look up at the sun, you must have protective glasses. You may remember those eclipse glasses from 2017. When searching online to buy them, you have to make sure they are ISO certified. You can't depend on sunglasses and even most welding glasses. Those lenses just aren't enough to protect your eyes from looking directly at the sun. If you still have your eclipse glasses from 2017, use them with caution. If they have any cracks or tears on them, they aren't safe. If you don't have eclipse viewing glasses, you still have some options. Shadow boxes work very well. Um, you know, just a pinhole camera, just put a pinhole in something and, and let the sun project onto the ground or a piece of white paper. Here's how you can make your own shadow box or solar viewer with some things you probably already have around your house. You'll need a shoe box, tape, paper, scissors, foil, and a sharp pencil. The first thing you'll want to do is get the shoe box and the scissors and cut two holes in one end of the shoe box. Then, Get the foil and the tape and put that covering one of those holes. When you get your sharp pencil, just poke a little hole in that foil and then get your white paper and additional tape and you'll put that inside the box. When you have it all together, put the lid on the box and then on the day of the eclipse, what you'll want to do is with the sun to your back, let the sunlight go through the hole here in that foil and it will project an image of what's happening with the eclipse on the other end of the box and that way you can get a good safe view of what's happening with the solar eclipse. If you don't make a box, you can still see the effects of the eclipse not by looking up but by looking down. The shadows on the ground will look different while the eclipse is happening. My favorite is just to find a bush or a tree with that sunlight filtering through it and it'll make hundreds of little eclipse images on the ground. It's really cool. So we're going to be doing a lot of stories between now and April 8th to get you prepared for viewing of this partial eclipse here in our area. Also, we're posting those instructions online. If you didn't get all of the uh, steps there for making that solar viewer or shadow box, we'll have that at 11alive.com.